All right, how do you diagnose Lyme? That's a great question. There is no single absolutely gold standard lab out there. There's no test out there that is this perfect test. The CDC tests, well, their specificity and their ability to pick up Lyme is horrible. I've heard anything from one to 2% to actually get positive. I've had so many patients that have come in that when they are treated, when they do different therapies that are to treat Lyme, they get well and they had negative on their tests. I've had a lot of people who have gone and got antibiotic therapy. They, it changes how they feel. So their doctor then diagnoses them with Lyme. So how do you actually do a diagnosis? Well, if you get a positive lab test, it's positive. That's great, but you're in that small percentage of positive tests. If you get a negative, that means you need to probably keep searching. You need to find somebody who is trained to do a clinical diagnosis. Some of those things that they're gonna look for in clinical diagnoses of Lyme are, and here we go, the laundry list is here. It's headaches in the back of the neck, fatigue, migratory pain, arthritic-like joints, those are just a few. Now, you can go further than that. Sometimes you get blurred vision. Sometimes you have neuropathies. You can get almost any symptom, but when you combine these symptoms together that don't really fit with anything else, and then you know that at some point you've been bit by an insect of some sort, or maybe your mother had these symptoms, and then you put that with reactivity to either certain antibiotics or herbals, you can start to get an idea of, okay, now I think I may have Lyme. Some people do other things like look, take a microscope and actually look in your blood, see if there's bacteria there. And then from that you could culture it, but that's just a whole nother step that is extremely rare. And I don't know if I've had more than a couple people that happen to be a microbiologist ever go that far. So the big thing is Lyme is really, really hard to diagnose from labs. So if you have a negative Lyme test, but you have all of the symptoms, search out somebody who at least talk to you that is highly educated in Lyme, that does not believe it's not in every state because it is everywhere. Make sure they don't have those biases because Lyme is real. Lyme is everywhere. And you can easily find somebody around that at least has some knowledge about it if you search. But just make sure that they don't give you those lines that are standard, which is, oh, that's not here. Oh, that can't be chronic. Because yes, it can. And there's been positive Lyme tests everywhere. All right. If you know somebody that's got symptoms like this, that has been told it's not Lyme, send them this video, look at my other videos. I'm putting together several just to make sure that people have an opportunity to know that Lyme is all over the place, to give them a chance to get well, because I had Lyme, I know how debilitating it is, I know people can get well, that's the mission.